Hello crafty friends, are you a warm colour person or a cool colour person or does it depend on your mood, on your location, the season, the weather? Well today I'm going to make a card for you with cool colours because I made this one yesterday using warm colours and I thought it'd be fun to see what it looked like in a cooler colour scheme. I tend to think of hearts and love as a warm thing. So I tend to gravitate towards the pinks, the reds, the oranges and the yellows. But I think it could also work with a cool colour scheme. So we're going to make this again, but with cool colours, as I've already said several times. The card is five by seven inches, made from hammered white cardstock. The first thing we're going to do is make our hearts. So I've got Catherine Pooler inks from the party collection. We've got Serenade Pixie Dust Sweet 16 and some mixed media paper. These are the dies we're going to use. I believe I got these from a shop on Etsy. And I want to blend them so the blendy bits overlap each heart. So each heart is a mixture of colours. So I'm just going to mark with a pencil line to remind myself where I want the blended area to be. And I think we can use the same brush for all three colours as they're all cool colours. And I'm going to start with the lightest colour though. This is Sweet 16. Give that a good blend into pixie dust. And then pixie dust into serenade. These Catherine Pooler inks blend really well on mixed media paper, but you do have to work fairly quickly. And they do smooth out over time as well. So if they are a bit blotchy, give them a bit of time and they should smooth out nicely. There we go, I think that's intense enough and we've got a nice blend. While I've got the inks out, I'm going to colour another piece of mixed media paper exactly the same way um, because I want to create a mat or a border for my heart piece. I tell you the only thing I don't like about these mini ink pads is, and it's probably me, not the pads, is that they are mini. So they're a bit difficult to handle. I quite often find myself with ink on my fingers because, oh no, yeah, that's right. Um, No, I did that wrong, but never mind. It's not going to matter on this one. Um, I quite often find myself with inky fingers when I take the lids off. They just sort of fall apart in my hands. As I say, that might be me. I could have got the larger ink pads, but they are obviously more expensive. All right, we can put that one to one side because we don't need that at the moment. And we don't need that anymore. I'm going to give this a good blast with my hairdryer to dry the ink ready for heat embossing just to make sure there's no static or wet ink or greasy fingerprints. I'll give it going over with corn flour. And I've got a very old rubber stamp here with a polka dot pattern on. It hasn't even got any cling on the back, so I've had to glue it to my stamp platform with a bit of stick glue. So we'll give it a good going over with the Versamark. And a good press down and we'll do that again. I'm not looking for a perfect impression because this is a kind of mixed media-esque thing. But I do want to get lots of gold on there because I'm going to heat emboss with gold embossing powder. So 
So there we go, got some lovely shine on that. So now I'm going to cut out my hearts and I want to line it up so I get that blend across the hearts but I also want to get a sort of symmetricalness around the dots. The same for all the all the hearts. Just so they they're harmonized, they look the same ish. Okay, I'm going to tape those in place with a bit of low tack tape. And I'm going to put a shim on this to run it through my mini Gemini because this middle heart is quite intricate and it does seem to need a little bit of extra help to cut properly. Before we go any further, I'm going to stack my colourful hearts. I've cut two of each shape out of white cardstock and glued them together and I'll glue these on top. This one's a little bit fiddly because it's got this coil in the middle which acts like a little bit of a spring and just pings everywhere. So I get the main part of the heart lined up properly before I press it down. She says, come on you, get in the right place. Hang on, let me take that apart a minute. Start again. A bit more glue I think on that one to give it a bit more wiggle. Like I said, this one's a bit fiddly. <laughs> Now the heart is lined up, just got to get the little coiled bit lined up. We just work our way around squeezing it together with the tweezers and that should do the trick. And while I'm here, I'm going to stick my hearts onto some vellum. I want to back them with vellum. But before I do that, I'm going to put some double-sided sticky on the back of the vellum so that it is sticky on the back. So when it comes to sticking my hearts down, you won't see the sticky on the back of the vellum. So I'll just use glue to get these down. I don't think it's going to warp the vellum too much, especially as I've got the sticky on the back already. use my detail scissors to cut these out and this is really easy not fiddly at all because it's a, a simple heart shape around the outside the hearts are all done ready to go I'll put them over there out of the way I've got a bit of hammered white cardstock here and I'm going to spatter on some purple on the original card I spattered on this copper I think I'm going to go for the the cool color spattering I'll do the whole lot because I can always use this bit for something else. I will dry that with my hair dryer. So for this card I stuck my hearts on and used my guillotine to chop down a rectangle in the right size and then matted it and then chopped it with a guillotine again. But I'm wondering about doing something slightly different. I've got this rectangle frame die. They don't fit in perfectly but they might look fun Kind of overlapping it like that just to change things up a bit so I'm thinking I'm going to cut my frame from this okay and I'm going to keep the frame in the die for now because that will hold it in shape while I stick it down I have to watch, wash this dye afterwards because now I've got glue all over it. There we go. So I'll pop that on there, push down through the little holes and hopefully that will come away. 
Well, there was a big fat fail. We'll stick that down <laughs> and we'll stick this inside and use this to get everything lined up nicely. The trouble with these little frame dies, I think, is that they stretch the paper so even though this was cut out of that it doesn't fit anymore but it gives you a, a way of lining everything up again so you can pop that out there and that looks fine and what i'll do now is cut that out with my guillotine okay so i think that's worked and i'm going to pop that on there like that my little t-square ruler just to help me get that lined up and I think we will aim for towards the top but with more or less equal around the edges these two edges and pop our little hearts here like this like that can peel the sticky off the back of the vellum and with the vellum you can still see the little spots the little dots and splatters in the background then it mutes them slightly just going to press that down slightly because I want to balance the gap here and here so I'll wait until I've got the top one in place before I decide on the final positions that'll do I quite like that actually I like the hearts overlapping the, the edge there on the warm up colored card I put the word love but this has given me some somber vibes so I'm going to use the same sentiment set so the same style of word but use the misuse use a little bit of glue to add those I think Right, so there we go. Two cards, very similar techniques, different colour schemes. I like them both actually. I really like the warm colours and the cool colours. This one's definitely giving me sombre vibes and I think the Miss You works with that. What do you think? Which one do you prefer or which occasion perhaps would you use these from? Do let me know in the comments. Right, that's it. Thanks for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, do subscribe so you can see more from me and I'll see you back here very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.